Back in the day, savings accounts used to be a great way to put some money aside and earn interest on it. It was a tool that reduced the impact of ongoing inflation. Nowadays, you earn between 0.2 and 2% per year if you get lucky, which makes many people wonder whether there is a similar alternative with higher yields. A traditional savings account comes with the following benefits. Predictable return and relatively fast liquidity, don't lock up your money for a fixed period. The most significant benefit is, however, the deposit insurance scheme, which covers your deposits of up to 100,000 euro. That's at least the case in Europe. The disadvantage of the traditional savings account is the ridiculously low interest rate, which won't make much impact, especially with the current inflation rates in Europe. But what if there is an alternative with similar features and higher rates? Well, there are a few worthy options. Keep watching until the end of this video to find out where you can make between 9 and 14% interest per year with moderate risk and immediate liquidity. My name is Jakub from P2P Empower and if you are interested in real-life information about increasing your returns and minimizing your risk with P2P lending, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to not miss out on future videos. So as already teased in this video, I will introduce you to what I think are currently the best savings account alternatives. The following platforms must meet specific criteria to be considered a worthy alternative to savings account. The return has to be higher and it needs to be predictable. You don't want any volatility as you rely on the ability to withdraw your funds when needed. And the account should be available in your country. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this video is not for US residents as the following platforms don't accept investors from the United States due to regulatory requirements. The first platform in this list is Asketit. Asketit is a P2P lending platform launched by the founders of Cream Finance, a reputable lending group in Europe. On Escadit, you fund loans from Jordan, Spain and the Czech Republic and the interest rates that you earn depends on your preferred investment strategy. You can earn 11% by investing in cream finance loans from Spain and Czech Republic or 14% by investing in loans from Jordan. To use Escadit, you must deposit funds from your bank account in the EU. Escadit is also available for residents from the UK as long as you have an IBAN account. The platform only lists investments in Euro so if you don't have a Euro account yet, I suggest opening a free bank account with Vice.com or Revolut and using it to avoid conversion fees. The platform also accepts deposits via stablecoins such as USDT or USDC. Remember that your stablecoins will be swapped into Euro as the platform only lists loans in Euros. What's excellent about Escatit is its instant liquidity for investors using one of the two suggested strategies. By clicking on the cash out option, you can liquidate your investments within one day and request a withdrawal, which takes between one and three business days. There is also no yield limit, meaning you can deposit as much capital as you wish. A great benefit is the fact that you can start investing from just 10 euro, which is excellent as you can start building your portfolio step by step without any significant capital commitment. On top of that, you can use Asketit entirely for free. The second alternative to savings accounts is Robocash. This investment platform is operated by the profitable and well-established Robocash group, mainly active in Asia and Europe. Robocash currently offers most of the available investments from Robocash in Singapore and the money is used to fund Robocash development in Southeast Asia. The yield on Robocash depends on the long term you wish to choose. It ranges from 9 to 13% per year. Robocash is a worthy alternative to savings accounts because of its very liquid secondary market. If you decide to sell your investments, you can sell them on the secondary market within just 7 business days. On top of that, it usually takes 2 business days to withdraw your funds from Robocash. There is a deposit limit of up to 25,000 euro per month and like on Escadit, you can also invest from just 10 euro. Depositing and withdrawing money is free, meaning you don't need to pay anything to generate attractive returns. Eurolo is offering a slightly different alternative to savings accounts. Eurolo's savings account offers between 10 and 11% interest per year on fiat-backed stablecoins such as USDC or Eurostatus. You can deposit Euro, Pounds, Swiss francs or US dollars, but there are some fees to pay if you decide to deposit other currencies than Euro. The minimum deposit amount on UHODLER depends on the currency that you choose. To withdraw your money, you will be charged a small fee depending on the currency you are withdrawing. When depositing money on UHODLER, you must convert your assets into stablecoins or other cryptocurrencies to generate interest. To benefit from all dimensions features of savings accounts, converting your fiat currency to reputable and audited stablecoins 
is the safest strategy to earn stable interest on your money. In terms of liquidity, you can convert your stable coins into fiat in just a few minutes. There is a small conversion fee to pay, but it will be easily covered by the interest that you are receiving. Depending on the currency you are withdrawing, it can take between 2 and 5 business days until your money is back in your bank account. Those options are currently some of the best alternatives to traditional savings accounts. If you are a loyal subscriber of this channel, you know that it would not be a complete video if we would not discuss some of the risks associated with those platforms. Every time you lend money, there is risk involved, which means that P2P lending is not risk-free. As with every video on this channel, this is no investment advice. There are a variety of risks that can materialize, which can lead to the loss of your capital. At the end of the day, you must trust the company to honor the promise to return your money when needed. So apart from looking for the best interest rates, you must also research the company's management, founders, and the CEO. Luckily for you, a lot of the work has been already done. On this YouTube channel, you will find countless non-sponsored interviews with CFOs, CEOs, and founders of various companies. Those interviews will give you a great first impression about the people running those lending platforms. Some platforms also provide audited financial statements and regular performance reports, which you can review to understand the company better. The most significant difference between traditional and alternative savings accounts is that the deposit protection scheme doesn't bag the mentioned alternatives. In the traditional savings account space, if the bank fails, you will be reimbursed by the deposit protection scheme of up to 100,000 euro in Europe. With P2P lending platforms, your investment is often backed by a buyback guarantee, which is the company's promise to rebuy your assets should the borrower not repay in time. This buyback has worked very well for both Escated and Robocash since the launch of the two platforms. On your order, all your assets are backed by cryptocurrencies, which is an excellent protection scheme as well. In the current market environment, Many investors are worried about geopolitical risks and the potential impact on their savings. To be honest with you, if those risks materialize in Europe, it won't matter that much whether a deposit protection scheme backs your savings account. Any run on the banks will create liquidity issues and potential withdrawal limits. Even with the deposit protection scheme, you might be unable to withdraw your money when needed. The good news is that you can mitigate some of the risks on P2P platforms by reading our independent reviews, following our newsfeed, and watching my monthly portfolio update. I currently have more than 27,000 euro invested on those three platforms, so it's also in my personal interest to make sure I can withdraw my funds when needed. In this table, you can see the main differences between traditional savings account and the presented alternatives. The return on alternative platforms is much higher in comparison to savings account. The downside is, however, the non-existing governmental protection scheme. On the other hand, you have excellent liquidity and what also stands out is the support of those platforms compared to traditional banks. During business hours, you can reach a competent person within a few minutes, which isn't always the case with banks. So how do I think should you use those alternative savings accounts? Well, it comes down to your financial goals and risk assessment knowledge. I believe that the listed platforms are undoubtedly worth exploring. If I were a complete newbie, I would target a savings period of 3 to 12 months and deploy some of my liquid funds on one or multiple platforms. There are all very good tools to reduce the impact of inflation and save up for a more significant investment. You should monitor your portfolio's performance every month and read the latest information on our website p2pempire.com. To be on the safe side, I would try to withdraw smaller amounts here and there to test the platform's liquidity. After a few months, it's worth reviewing your portfolio and re-evaluating whether the platform is fulfilling its obligations. Remember that it's just a tool for you to make money. Like traditional savings accounts, if you are unhappy with the performance and find a better investment opportunity, you can withdraw your money anytime during normal market conditions. So that sums up this video. Some of the platforms offer attractive bonuses for new investors. So if you want to benefit from a sign-up bonus, you can use the links in the description below to get an additional investment boost. Let me know in the comments below what platforms you use that could be considered alternatives to savings accounts. I'm really curious about your opinion on this one. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.